Reverend Father Bel San Luis, SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to St. Jude Tadeus will now begin. Praise St. Jude in heaven's glory, patron of all hopeless souls. In our trials be a refuge, help us in our present woes, ever praying, interceding, desolations, endless pleading, saint of God, magnificent, Hear thy cry and suppliant. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, I welcome you all to uh, our Mass, but uh, we will begin with the uh, Novena uh, prayer and devotion to St. Jude to the Youth the saint of the impossible and of uh, things that are almost despaired of. In this Mass, we uh, offer the intentions of uh, the following uh, for our dear uh, brother, our dear brother Mark Samson for healing for Lita Ilano for uh, petitions or intentions, also for the intentions of Rosie Sontai, and for Johnny and Helen C., Paul Carol Galang, Marie Rose Navarro, Joe Valencia, and for Marie Anita Alanis. Also for Kim Bernal, Sai Baltasar, and Elmer Gestopa. St. Jude in his letter says, May mercy, peace, and love to be yours in abundance. Through the intercession of St. Jude, let us approach with confidence God and ask him to give us the graces we need to follow faithfully his Son, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of St. Jude that the Church may constantly grow by the increase of the peoples who believe in you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. But as for you, beloved, build up yourselves upon your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Litany to St. Jude. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. 
God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. God the Holy Spirit, have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Holy Trinity, one God, have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Saint Jude, relative of Jesus and Mary, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Jude, raised to the dignity of an apostle, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who had the honor of beholding the Divine Master, humble himself to wash his feet, pray for us. Saint Jude, who at the Last Supper received the Holy Eucharist from the hands of Jesus, pray for us. Saint Jude, who after the profound grief which the death of your beloved master cost you, had the consolation of beholding him risen from the dead and of assisting at his glorious ascension. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who filled with the Holy Spirit on the day of the Pentecost. Pray for us. Yes. Saint Jude, who preached the gospel in Persia. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Jude, who converted many people to the faith. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Jude, who performed wonderful miracles in the power of the Holy Spirit. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Jude, who restored an idolatrous king to health, both of soul and body. Pray for us. Pray. Saint Jude, who imposed silence on demons and confounded their oracles. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Jude, who foretold to a weak prince an honorable peace with his powerful enemy. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Jude, who took from deadly serpents the power of enduring man. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Jude, who disregarding the threats of the impious, courageously preached the doctrine of Christ. Pray for us. Saint Jude, who gloriously suffered martyrdom for the love of your divine master. Pray, pray for, for us. us. Novena prayer, together we pray. Saint, Saint Jude, Jude, glorious apostle, faithful, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, Jesus the name of the person who betrayed our Lord, has caused you to be forgotten by many, but the true church invokes you universally as the patron of the desperate. Pray for me, who is miserable. Pray for me that I may finally receive the consolation and the power of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, particularly the following. And that I may, I may bless God, God with, with the electric, electric throughout, throughout eternity. eternity. Saint Jude, worker of miracles, please, please pray, pray for me. me. Saint Jude, helper of the hopeless, please, please pray, pray for, for me. me. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Grant, Grant Almighty and eternal, eternal God, everlasting health to those who believe. Hear us for the sick, for, sick, for whom, whom we implore the aid of your tender mercy. mercy. That, that being restored, restored to bodily, bodily health, they may, may give, give thanks to you in your church, church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Together we acclaim, Blessed yes. Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. We invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, Aid, aid me in my distress. distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid, aid me in my distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. With that, we uh, end our uh, novena prayer to Saint Jude to the use. And now we proceed to our Eucharistic celebration. And uh, as was mentioned a while ago, uh, today is the feast of uh, a very good mother, uh, Monica, the mother of uh, the great uh, Saint uh, Augustine. So um, now let us uh, begin with uh, our Holy Mass. 
Let us uh, pause for a moment to think of our failings and our sins and ask the Lord's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the, to the Lord, Lord our God. God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who consoled the sorrowful and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of Saint Monica for the conversion of her son, Augustine, grant us through the intercession of them both that we may bitterly regret our sins and find the grace of your pardon. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God and Sosthenes, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to you who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be holy, with all those everywhere who call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God, our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise your name forever, Lord. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. I will praise your name forever, Lord. They discourse of the power of your terrible deeds and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Let us honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come, who then is the faithful and prudent servant whom the Master has put in charge of his household to distribute to them their food at the proper time. Blessed is that servant whom his Master on his arrival finds doing so. Amen, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that wicked uh, servant says to himself, My master is long delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants, and eat and drink with drunkards, the servant's master will come at an expected day and at unknown hour and will punish him severely and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, for my homily this evening, I would like uh, to uh, uh, invite you to reflect on uh, the life of uh, the saint of today, uh, that is uh, Monica, the uh, mother of uh, Saint Augustine. Because Monica did uh, a lot of sacrifices for her son, who was uh, really a wayward uh, uh, child, and um, he was always uh, running away from home and joining uh, certain uh, uh, religions um, which had uh, wrong uh, doctrines or teachings. And, you know, finally, after 30 years, at lumpong taon sa kanyang uh, pagdadasal at pasensya at mga penitensya para sa kanyang anak, ay siya po ay nagbago at sa tulong ng isang obispo na si uh, Bishop Ambrosio, um, who was a very loving and kind uh, and fatherly bishop who guided him back to the Christian faith. So uh, uh, this is what uh, the uh, Blessed Mother Monica did and she was rewarded by the conversion of uh, his son, her son, uh, Augustine. So Augustine became a priest, then a bishop, and then he put up, uh, uh, founded the Congregation of the Augustinians. Dito po sa ating bansa ay uh, mayroon silang mga eskwelahan at uh, many uh, communities of uh, uh, St. Augustine. And so, uh, dear brothers and sisters, um, Monica was really, really a model and an exemplar uh, mother. You know, it was not only Augustine whom Monica was trying to convert. It was also the husband. It was also uh, the mother-in-law. Why? Because they were pagans and they had different uh, teachings and different, of course, traits and behaviors. Kaya para yung sinasabi natin na uh, tatlo ang naging uh, uh, 
uh, pinagdadasal ni Santa Monica at uh, sila po ay yung kanyang asawa uh, and then yung anak niya and then yung uh, biyanahan ano lagang uh, itong mga biyanan ay uh, mga kontrabida <laughs> yung asawa naman niya dapat siya ay haligi ng tahanan pero uh, sa malungkot na pangyayari hindi ho kasi kristyano kaya hindi ho ganoon ang kanyang uh, role o papel maging haligi and then uh, well yung kanyang biyanan alam niyo sinasabi na yung uh, ama ay haligi yung ina naman ay siya uh, ang ilaw ng tahanan at yung uh, biyanan siya daw ay anahin ng tahanan well <clears throat> of course hindi naman lahat po ng mga biyanan ay mga anay ng uh, tahanan yun lang masyadong pakiki- nakikialam ng mga biyanan at uh, sila ay uh, tinagurian anay ng tahanan so hindi naman lahat po ano So, kung may mga biyanan dyan po, ay huwag ko po yung magagalit. <clears throat> well, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, true again, the uh, three things, three Ps dito sa buhay ni Santa Monica ang naging epektibong uh, paraan. At uh, ito po ay yung uh, penance yung ikalawa po ay yung kanyang perseverance at yung ikatlo ay yung panalangin. So, perseverance, penance, and persevering prayer. So, my dear brothers and sisters and all who are attending our Mass, uh, let this be also uh, especially for our mothers to emulate yung tularan po itong si Santa Monica. At uh, sinabi ni Santa Monica sa mga ina, the mothers, and the wives, sabi po niya na kailangan daw po ang isang ina at isang ama na magkasundo palagi. That they're always uh, loving and gentle with one another. And that is why she said that even though the husband was not only very uh, unkind, but he was even violent. Kung baga ngayon ay siya ay uh, uh, wife beater. But Through all this, Monica had always tried her best to be gentle, to be kind, and not to use uh, her tongue to nag against the husband. Kaya sabi po niya, ang napaka-importanteng uh, uh, katangian ng ina ay dapat mapagpasensya at hindi gumagamit po masyado yung dila, lalong-lalo na kung matalas ang dila. Ewan ko kung magagawa ng mga ina, pero ito po ay uh, experience ni Santa Monica. So, uh, this is what uh, Saint Monica is telling us, especially our mothers and wives. And you can just imagine 30 years of prayer, persevering prayer. Si San Agustin na noon ay talaga naman ang buhay niya ay makamundo and not only makamundo, wayward. And he was even a playboy. And The mother was about to give up praying for him. 
But uh, finally, after 30 years, Augustine became a converted man and he was baptized at the age of 33. So, uh, dear brothers and sisters, let us also uh, try to emulate the persevering spirit and prayer of Monica. Alam po ninyo si, uh, uh, there is a saying about persevering prayer. And it goes this way. It uh, says, prayer is the weakness of God and the strength of people. The more we pray, the more God becomes weak. And then she give, he gives in to our supplications and petitions. May we learn from the life of Monica, especially in her persevering prayer, in her penance, and uh, in her perseverance in converting people. Amen. Let's now pray the prayers and intentions of the faithful. In the gospel, the Lord Jesus has called us to watch for the day of his return. Let us come to the Father in prayer, watching and waiting for her beloved Son, and let their response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may not be satisfied with what she has done, but continue to proclaim the gospel of repentance and realize the need for conversion and renewal. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our communities may be fitting places for the building of God's kingdom by our respect, love, and concern for one another. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may always be ready for the coming of God's kingdom by remaining watchful but never fearful. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the dying may seek God's will in their trials and sufferings. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our leaders, government officials, that the Holy Spirit may guide them to make sound and swift policy decisions to fight this public health crisis and that they put the welfare of the general public first above self-interests. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may be found ready to meet the Lord whom they long to see face to face. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, listen to the prayers we have made with sincere hearts. Help us to grow in holiness as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We bring you these sacrificial gifts, O Lord, to commemorate Blessed Monica, humbly entreating that uh, she may bestow on us both pardon and salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled the great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. <laughs> Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this off you and eat of it. 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Onesto, the clergy, and all your faithful people, especially those who are viewing us in the live streaming. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with all the saints, especially Monica, whose feast we celebrate today, and St. Arnold Johnson and St. Joseph Renadimitz, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Now let us uh, <clears throat> pray the uh, Lord's Prayer or Our Father. And uh, let me uh, remind everybody that our Lord in this prayer is uh, putting emphasis on forgiveness. We ask forgiveness from our Heavenly Father, but uh, He also expects of us to forgive people we have wronged and those who have wronged us. Our Lord was very particular about this. And he said that if you do not forgive your enemy or your brother or sister who has wronged you, your Heavenly Father will not forgive you either. So my dear brothers and sisters, if there are some people we're not in talking terms with, we're not reconciled with, let us uh, remember the words of our Lord and especially to put into practice the spirit of forgiveness. Let us now pray. Our Father, Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, name. thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. 
give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let's greet one another with a sign of peace. Peace, peace be, with be with you. you. Peace be with you, sister. Peace to our uh, viewers. Lamb of God, who takes away the, the sins, sins of the world, world have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God take who takes away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should, should enter, enter under my room, roof, but, but only, only say, say the word, word and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of this divine sacrament enlighten and inflame us, Almighty God, and this feast of uh, Blessed Monica, that we may be ever fervent with your holy desires and abound in good works through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. 
we implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray, pray for, for us. us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod, pray for us. Saint Monica, pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Renadimitz, pray for us. Please be seated for a while, dear brothers and sisters. Uh, Unang-una po sa lahat ay uh, nagpapasalamat ako doon sa mga uh, nag-share uh, ng uh, resources nila for our seminarians who are coming back and uh, uh, study here in Christ the King Seminary and also for other uh, seminarians in other seminaries. So thank you very much. And God, who is never outdone in generosity, rewards you a thousandfold. But let me uh, continue to uh, uh, appeal to you, dear brothers and sisters, our viewers, uh, to please uh, consider uh, sharing uh, your resources for our seminarians, especially for those who are needy. You know, seminarians are very important in our church and in our country because without seminarians, there would be no priests, no missionaries, no bishops, and even popes. Kaya kung walang seminarians, wala din itong mga pari, mga missionaries at obispo. Kaya mga kapatid, gusto ko sanang uh, mag uh, sa inyong lahat na uh, please continue to help our seminarians in their vocation and so that they will continue and become priests in the near future. For further information, you can um, um, <clears throat> send uh, an email to uh, my email address Father Bell SVD um, at gmail dot com. So Bell SVD at uh, gmail dot com. So thank you very much in advance. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us now go and emulate the spirit of forgiveness, of a persevering prayer in Saint Monica. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.